You know, it's 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 kind of reminiscent, Andy, of the old spy versus spy in Mad Magazine. You remember that? Alfred E. Newman. You know, what? Be worried. <laughs> but yeah, I loved Mad Magazine. I loved it. It was such an educational rating. It, if it was still in business, is it still in business? Could you still get the new Mad Magazine and have the uh, left or the right tried to ban it yet? I mean, it, it is like that, though. It's state versus state, and spy versus spy, white versus black, state versus state is what I'm trying to talk about, versus federal. In other words, some states have laws that are okay. Other states have different laws, and some other states have laws that don't jive with federal law. Marijuana is one of them, for starters. Marijuana is legal in Montana. It is not legal in Idaho. It is legal in Washington, and it is illegal federally. So if I was going to be driving, la -di -da, I'm driving from Montana, I'm going to Washington, and all of a sudden, wee, 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 oh my God, I get pulled over, and it's John Law, and I've got a bag of weed on me. Well, it's federal, it's state against the law in Idaho, even though I bought it legally in Montana, and I'm traveling legally to someone that I knew in Washington. So state versus state. Yeah, it's, I mean, we have it with abortion rights now. Some states say it's okay for a woman to have an abortion. Some states say it's not okay for a woman to have an abortion. And if you're one or two of those states that say if a woman, if you are the state that does not allow abortions and a woman travels to a state that does allow and then comes back, she is committed a crime. That's bullshit, Texas. Okay? Mind your own goddamn business and if they go out of state, they go out of state. It's not your jurisdiction anymore. Gay marriage. Gay marriage uh, is rumored to be uh, maybe revisited by the Supreme Court and then that will become a choice from state to state to state. Right to die. I have the right to die in Oregon. Mark West, if you're watching, do I have the right to die in Oregon? Uh, but I do not have the right to die in Montana. Um, of course, them mothers are killing dogs that don't want to die and need a home, and they won't pe let people uh, medical services, baking services. Certain states have certain things going on that are federally protected or not federally protected. Um, certain states allow, all right, for instance, I, I, Andy, do you got the state where the birthday cake, the birthday cake lady, was that Colorado? Oh, the, the birthday cake lady, because the, the couple was gay, and she didn't want to uh, uh, do a wedding cake. And so, went to the state of her state Supreme Court, they would, said it was okay. My question is, uh, dentistry also is another one. A right to refuse services to a person who is gay or trans or whatever, but that's just like being racist. They don't have the equal protections. Besides, if someone doesn't want you to bake, if someone doesn't want to bake a wedding cake for you, do you really want to force them to do it and then eat it? Come on, man. It's like taking your, sending your food back in the restaurant. Shut up and eat it. Use my mom. Mama, my, I don't like my brunch. It's cold. Shut the fuck up and eat it. <laughs> That's, you just don't, you don't do that. Um, banning books. There are certain states, certain counties, certain districts, certain school districts that are banning books. Hop on pop. To Kill a Mockingbird, for instance, Citizen Kane, even the Iliad and the Odyssey. 
Banning books is Nazi-like to me. You don't ban books. You don't burn books, you don't ban books. When I was a kid, here we go. When I was a kid, Mom said, don't read this book. And if I read it, it got the crap shit out of me. So all the different states doing different things. Now, I respect that the states have, and we have 50 of them. And all states are ran differently. What works in Alabama does not work yeah, I know, Alabama. I'll get to that, Alabama. Yeah, What works for Alabama does not work for the people in Montana. They have wild boars. We have wild whores. Can I say that? I said it. Um, it just doesn't work. So one blanket doesn't serve all. Right to die is a big issue. Marijuana is a big issue. The federal government has a say on it. Our state has a say on it. Other states have a say on it. Um, it's just, it should be like that. States should be um, able to do uh, what's good for their own citizens. Um, I don't believe that the governor or legislature uh, should force that on you. Uh, if you vote one way and vote for something, then that's the way it is. The voters spoke. Uh, you don't change wordings, change this, change that. I mean, if you live in a state where a dentist doesn't have to work on you if he doesn't want to work on a gay person, I don't want a dentist in my mouth. I'm not gay, but I don't want a dentist in my mouth if he doesn't want to be there. <laughs> it's like, come on, people. Don't force. You can't force people to think a certain way. Book banners. It's out there. It's okay. And... That's just the way it is. Um, I, I really think that in our society, it's 2022, that a person should have the right, as a parent, I have the right to tell my kids what they can read, what they can't read. Nobody else can tell my kid that. I'm sorry. Nobody tells my kid what to do. Kids. Banning books that I said, it's, it's not okay. Where does it stop? I mean, the Iliad and the Odyssey, <sighs> Kill a Mockingbird is supposed to make you think. It is supposed to think. And they ban it. They're like, well, you can't watch Hop on Pop because he's hopping on Pop at brunch. Jesus. Do you want really someone to do any medical services if they don't want to? Brings race into the question, doesn't it? So, I don't think that every state, one, I don't think a blanket works for all, and I don't think the one state have everything. If you're in Montana and I'm going to Washington and I get pulled over in Idaho, they should I, it's a little panhandle. It's like look, this big, right? You could spit. You should go to jail. I have health issues. I'm getting older. If I was to find out that I was terminally ill, the government of the state of Montana says, I can't do nothing about it. Yep. Currently, there's no right to die. So, I have to suffer pain, and then they'll send me to hospice. If I'm in Oregon, I could go up to a field, have a going away party, you know, real going away party, and uh, do things on my term. So the issues politically, they're they're nuts. 
There's that's a political issue, and everybody's wanting to put there. You got Ron DeSantis wanting to do this. You got Abbott wanting to do that. You want Newsom doing this. Trump saying that. Biden saying this. You know what, folks? They're all freaking untrustworthy. They none of them have your. Do you think that the governor of Florida has anybody's best interest in heart except his own? That he's for the people? That happened long ago. That happened long ago. 20, 30, 40 years ago that stopped being the way it is. Um, the, the, the government will do and, and get what they want, how they want it. And Andy, for an example, we're going to go for that right now. I, I there's so many issues with the just a minute. There's so many issues with the state, the state, and the federal. You know, and I've touched on it. There's marijuana. There's gay marriage. There's abortion. There's a, the, the the right to die. Okay. Uh, there's probably many more than I do. Right to treatment. Mental health issues vary state to state. Uh, they ban books from state to state. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in state to state. They're, they all seem to be self-serving. Now, I, I'm going to touch on something. Ballots came out. Um, I got mine Friday, Andy. Did I, I got mine Friday. When did you get? You got yours Saturday. Okay, so they came out this week. There is a referendum on there about the dispensaries in uh, uh, Great Falls and, and how they want to do it. And, and uh, Andy, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get Snoop in here. Um, we're gonna get Snoop here for a minute. Oh, grow up! It's legal. All right, Snoop's here to help us with the next segment. The ballots came out in Great Falls in Montana here, and I'm not going to cover anything on the ballot. I'm not going to cover the judges' race or where to vote here or where to vote there. I just want to clarify that um, the, uh, uh, the, the the Great Falls mayor and city commission is asking voters whether to vote for dispensaries and marijuana-related uh, businesses in the city limits or not to allow. And what is funny, I, I, I watched the Facebook pages of all of them, and everybody's saying, you know, the, you know, the ballot's just went in the way it is, and that's the way it is. And, and my response to that is, boulder dash, ballots have been written with tricky questions and trippy loops for as long as ballots have been written. Okay, and, and initiatives have been written for anybody to say that the the, the, the dispensary issue on the ballot is uh, is on the up and up and an honest portrayal for the voters is fucking bullshit. Okay, first of all, the county of Cascade has voted for legalization. Okay. That doesn't mean that we can be a red, blue, and green county. Okay, that's what I've understood. Now, what the saying is, I can, Andy, I gotta get this right. We have uh, uh, they proposed an amendment to the official city code of Great Falls to specifically prohibit all types of marijuana businesses from operating in the city limits. So, what it's technically saying is that the state law and the Great Falls law conflict. And the city is saying they want us to vote yes for amending the city code to prohibit dispensaries all over again. So if you vote for dispensaries, you're not really voting for them. You're voting for them to redo the ordinance that prohibits. It, 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 it's, a, it's a double. I read the ballot, 
it's very confusing. I went to college, as you know, and of course, you know you're all paying for my student loan. Thanks, Stu. Got it from here. All right, bro. Um, it's a very, very... They're saying, we want you to vote for prohibiting the ordinance again, for rewriting it. It's not a simple, yes, we want dispensaries, or no, we don't want dispensaries, like I-90 was. That would be too easy. This was done on purpose. There's no logical... In, in, there's no logical reason that this was ballot was written this way. They, they'll say, profess up and down that it had to be. It didn't. I've looked in the codes. I've looked at it. What makes this even more interesting is that uh, the district court judge ruled in favor of the parties that were suing um, the uh, Great Falls City Commission and Mayor? City ordinance? The way the bill's written and was I-90 was passed is that if you live in a green county, marijuana is legal in everywhere, in your whole county. Um, if you didn't vote for it in your county, then I think it wasn't legal in your county if they didn't want to. Or was that what the legislature... I know the legislature changed their wording of I-90. That's why we're in the shitstorm that we are in Great Falls. So, if you want dispensaries operating in the city limits of Great Falls, Montana, you need to vote no. I shit you not. I bullshit you not. You need to vote no. You do not want them to amend the 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 the, 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 the what is it the the, the 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 you don't want them to amend the, the the initiative all over again. What is it called, Danny? What the fuck? You don't want them to okay, blah blah blah. The code. You don't want them to amend the code all over again. That's not even a big. Do you want us? Do you want dispensaries in Montana? Well, you want us to do the code again? We'll vote yes, and we won't. It's a double-loaded question. They know what they were doing, and I predict that yes is going to fucking just smoke it. And people are going to be hot because the average voter just looks, do you want dispensaries in Montana, in Great Falls, yes or no? Yep, I want them. And if you don't read it, it doesn't say that. It says we're you're voting to re illegalize it again. So if you want dispensaries in Great Falls, you have to vote no. Judge Grubix voted uh, ruled, like I said last week, that you can have dispensaries. So I don't know if we're a Green County, how Great Falls can say no. Um, and also, Great Falls, you are. Great Falls, Montana, you are the only urban area in the state of Montana that does not allow dispensaries of medical or recreational in the fucking state of Montana. You also don't have any type of real cool businesses there. And you're like, I wonder why people don't like it here. <laughs> The good old boys. It hasn't changed here in Great Falls. We got them suing churches, having ballots weird so they can keep pot out of town because, you know, it's, it's illegal on a federal level. Hasn't bothered California, Colorado, Oregon, Washington, D.C., Michigan, Washington, Florida. The more they say they're not good old boys, the more they sound like it. Can't have pot in town, we're suing a fucking church. That ain't good old boys. And the good old boys over in Missoula, what the hell happened with the Grizzlies this weekend? Man. What?
Okay, one more time. If you want dispensaries in Great Falls, Montana, you need to vote no. Stupid as that seems, that's the truth. Grizzlies, what the hell? I watched the game. They were just dogging it. Idaho came to play, didn't they? Man, I was flipping back between <coughs> the Alabama, Tennessee, Montana State Bobcats, and uh, Northern Colorado, and uh, Montana and Idaho. Just back, 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 back. Because I already watched the, 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 the early game in the morning as uh, Michigan just, just December, just December, just they rolled over Penn State. Fifth great best rush defense in the nation, and we had over 400 yards. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Michigan statistically is a better team than they are than they were last year, and they were awful good last year. Um, Grizzlies lost what was it, thirty to twenty three, and the Bobcats were behind most of the game, and then they came out in the second quarter, the late third quarter. Yeah, we're, we're gonna just smoke them. Alabama, Tennessee, my God, Tennessee just. I, I, why, it was like 21 to nothing. I, I like went to the bathroom, came back, Alabama and tied it up. It was just it's so good to see Alabama lost. Nick Saban, it's just, man, I, I told these guys out of brunch that Tennessee was good. Peyton Manning's he's always blowing up, going crazy. There's a great storm in the field. We had an orange out in Tennessee. We had a maze out in Michigan. It's really cool when they do it. Yeah, Utah. I know. Um, you have number eight, Oklahoma State. Number seven, USC. Number two, Alabama. All off, so I'm, you know. Michigan should bump up. Polls are out. I haven't looked at them. They came out actually last night. I know I heard that, too. Last, well, today's Monday, Saturday night, from what I understand, Saturday night, Oakland police caught the Oakland serial killer. About 2.30 in the morning, he's perusing around parking lots. They pulled him over. He is dressed in black, had a gun on him. Had a black mask that was wearing around his neck on him. He was hunting. And he is hunting. He's out hunting. Hunting season in Oakland, California. And they nabbed his ass. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That is pretty goddamn cool. I mean, it wasn't cool that he was hunting. But they got, they got him. They always do that, yeah. You know, I touched on it last week. How you know Dom, uh, Dahmer would you know pick up uh, 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 gay men at bars, and Gacy would uh, literally hire them. Okay, uh, John Wayne Gacy would literally hire them for his contracting business. And body count, Gacy killed twice as many as Dahmer. Look at up. Uh, was Gacy at thirty? Did you hear a niner in there? <laughs> 34, 35? Richard Ramirez was stalking around in the dark. Bundy would be like all handsome. Picking up girls. Wearing fake cast. Being a cop. Creepy. <laughs> Serial killers. Man. Serial killers. Bloody Cheerios is what they are. What else, man? That's it? That's it. I, I'm bitching still. Do you know, and I know this is a dead horse, do you know if you want to watch the NFL Network TV, ain't, Monday Night Football ain't on TV no more. Thursday Night Football is not on TV anymore. The second afternoon game on the other channel is not on TV anymore. Okay? That's three three total games that are not on TV anymore. Okay, um, I, I did some research. If you had Hulu, Amazon Prime, 
was it NFL Network, one other, cost you like 200 some odd bucks to watch just the NFL, just the NFL, just the NFL. Freaking ridiculous, man. I cut the cord to save money, and then they're just like, screw you, fuck you, we won't have any more bowl games on TV. Because <laughs> you subscribed. That's, it, it feels like they did it, Andy. Well, we, we got, Andy, you're giving me, giving me the peace out sign? Stretch? No. Stretch, when they go like this, you mean to melt the clock. So... When he does this, and I'm doing these motions here, that I'm just milking the clock because I don't have anything else to say, and we've covered all the topics. <laughs> Could talk about brunch some more. Don't you love brunch? I fucking hate brunch. Is the most stupid idea in the, in the world. It's too late for breakfast. It's too too early for lunch. So let's have some high price snooty fucking items. Colder winters, colder weathers, up at night. Remember to winterize. Keep your dogs in. Remember people. I'm seeing people on Facebook all you know, I need a dog. Adopt. Don't shop. Okay? I say that for a reason. Not so you can get on Facebook and, and shop for a dog. Okay? Go to the shelter. Okay, there's plenty of dogs, plenty of kitties. There are plenty of them up there. Adopt, adult, shop. Okay, rescue. Save them all. Love your dog. Yeah, Putin. Putin! Putin! We haven't talked about Putin this week. Putin! Putin sucks. Putin's losing. Uh, troops are, you know, they blew up the bridge in Crimea, or yeah, Crimea, and then and then they, they Putin uh, responded by blowing up churches and schools, and then he said, "I'm done." And so now he's trying to get more people to volunteer. More people won't volunteer, and NATO's going to be doing nuclear exercises, and Russia's going to be doing exercises at the same time as NATO is, and. Practice your duck and cover drills. If you're in New York, run inside, go under furniture. Anywhere else in the country, just duck and cover. Or go outside and smoke a fatty with your dog as you watch the nuclear weapons come in. Okay? Putin is losing. I don't think... I mean, I, I've said that we're going to be nuked and all this and that. I don't think that... To what end? He... he I'm more worried that he'd hit the nuclear reactor. So there, there's your Russia for the week. Remember, remember, remember. When you go to the polls and you fill out your ballots, if you are for legal marijuana dispensaries in the city of Great Falls, Montana, you must vote no on the ballot. You don't want them to do the code all over again. You want, no, you just say, fuck that bullshit. We're wrote, um, I, I still, it's deceptive. They've written ballots for that for years. We're out of here. We are winding it up. Remember, adopt, don't shop, rescue, foster, empty the shelters, kiss your dog, the hell with Putin, he ain't nothing. Have a great week. We'll be back here next Monday. I think we're going to a restaurant this week, Andy. Maybe. Don't ban books. Don't burn books. Okay? All right. Till next week. We're out of here, everybody. See you later. Thanks. Woo!